guys, welcome to the Craft Beer Channel, and, and Merry Christmas! So last year, to great critical acclaim, we did a Christmas beer video which involved a lot of Aldi, a lot more Aldi snacks than probably should have been involved. Um, but we've stripped it back this year. We have. We've we've gone proper basic with the snacks. We have no snacks. No snacks. That's about as basic. And as it gets. Uh, sort of low budget with the Christmas attire as well. No. Uh, what are you talking about? Well, I haven't got anything on. Me. Come on then. Oh! <laughs> Gordon Christmas socks, my friend. Damn! Um, last year we had hats, I think. The socks beat it, yeah, except hats. they come in packs of one. Who does that? I don't know. Maybe it's a stocking, but you wouldn't get many presents in that. How, no. But you say. would fit a beer bottle. And we have four beautiful beer bottles. That was we seamless. Do. We do. Uh, three from Belgium, which I believe is the home of Christmas. Uh, yeah, it's where Santa lives. Everybody knows that. Check yeah. Wikipedia. It looks colder in the pictures, but I think mm. it's. I think it is. Um, but it is the home of Christmas beer. Certainly. Certainly. So we've got three amazing Belgian beers. We had some great ones last year for Christmas, and then we've got one cat amongst the pigeons. Ooh. So first beer is from a brewery called Brasserie de la Seine. They are in the uh, the centre of Brussels, and they make Zinna beer, which is uh, well one of my favourite beers, uh, and also Taras Bulba, a lovely Belgian, very hoppy pale. As with all Belgian breweries, details are thin on the ground and mostly made up on rate beer. <laughs> yeah, it's not much of a mess though. It's pretty standard banana, um, some caramel, some raisin. It's like a really light quad. A little bit herbalist. There might be some herbs. Some, I don't know, well, not, it's not rose, it's thyme or something. Thyme's Christmassy, right? I think so. In my house it is. It's not huge, is it? I no, mean, for 8.5%, that is, that is like water. That is phenomenal, but it's got a really bitter, yeah. Some really bitter herbal notes that mm. I'm not, not quite digging on. It's a bit of a shock. It's a bit like when you have a like an IPA with pudding and you're just yeah. like, whoa, that's bitter. So I put these in ABV order because I don't know too much about the beers, but I realise this one's in Islay casks. What? So it might blow our palate off. Dude, hang on a minute, let's put that. Last. Always finish with a whiskey, right? Exactly. Okay, well now now my OCD is really kicking <laughs> off. But I get to open this awesome thing, so that's pretty cool. Grosch top. So this is Bon Secours. Oh, whoa now! I like the smell of that. It's, it smells like, re like really sort of like, um, like a dense Christmas cake, you know? It's, yeah. like, it's got really sort of raisiny dark it's got Yeah, it's got lots of there. dark fruit considering how bright it is. It reminds me, it reminds me of Arabic. Yeah? That's what I love about it. Like a, a slightly bretty, slightly funky... Uh, it's got some funk. No bitterness whatsoever. Sugary, sweet, smooth, caramelly. Yeah. It is, it's got that, that, um, I've got a pizza oven at home, wood fired, and I like to cook pizza? bananas in. Oh, banana, what? Sometimes, okay. and you, you know, when you sprinkle a load of uh, sugar on a banana, yeah. stick it in a barbecue, leave it in there for a long time, and it all sort of mulches down, goes like wonderfully caramelly. It's a bit that like that. That is kind of like that, for yeah. me, a little bit. I do get a little bit of alcohol burn. A little bit, back 10%. 10%. I mean, that's 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 a, a, a time bomb right there. Yeah. Wayne's having that's almost like a Russian submarine. Oh. It's going to pop up in the in the home in of, of Santa. Moment. He's going to be, uh, you know, skating along with his prezzies, and he's going to see the little scope pop up, and he's they're going to nuke him. That's what they're going to do. Maybe not Russians. I'm not against Russian people. So the reason I got this one, Good and Carolus, mm -hmm. um, is because at Beer Merchants, our partners, this sells the best of our Christmas beers. And Good and Carolus, you know, their, their standard beer is a good beer, but why is the Christmas one selling so well? Is it one dude who, I don't know, had an amazing Christmas once and he's trying to recreate it? Why? Having the same beer and the same food. Why? It's like an X-File, you know? It's a Christmas unsolved mystery. It's like a Scooby-Doo. Puzzle. Colombo. Then you keep going. Ten percent beers. <laughs> licorice. That's straight up licorice. 
That's all up in my grill. That's why licorice all sorts. Not as, not as big as I was expecting from the nose. Um, it, it kind of grew on me, the licorice. Mm. Toward, towards the end, it really crescendoed. For a second, I was like, oh, it's not going to be so. Oh, God, there's the licorice. So with this one, we get why you might like it, but we don't. Basically. Brad, Brad didn't do his dolphin sounds, and he didn't do a tortured metaphor. So it's, it's not a winner. <laughs> so it's not a winner, it I'm can't not, be. I'm not enthralled. <laughs> So onwards. So onwards and upwards. Uh, you need a pretty big beer to take away the flavour of licorice. Um, and that's what we think we've got. So our final beer of this evening is 10% beer, is Lervig's Smokes Like Christmas. Which isn't a pun that we can think of. Kind of feels like it is. But smells like Christmas? But not like, yeah, maybe it smells like tea, Looks tea like Christmas. Christmas. Sm smells like tea and Christmas. Anyway, this, this beer is a stout, partially, that sexy, sexy food word, partially aged in Islay, Islay wow. barrels. Ah, it's pretty exotic. So, uh, as far as I know, it is a porter that they aged uh, in very peaty whiskey barrels, and then I think they blended it with their amazing, amazing 10.5% stout Conrad. That's nice because I I'm not a huge peat fan. I, I'm 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 a more uh, sort of well I'm a bourbon guy really. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. You're but, more on the sweet side. Mm. Me too, buddy. But that's got it's got that smoke there, but it's not. It doesn't feel like you're it's about not, to chomp. It's not something dominating. Else. Yeah. No. no no no. And there's still the dark fruits from the porter and from from the Conrad style. It's rich, isn't it? Yeah, and oaky. There was some dark notes, some sweet uh, dark fruit notes, some sweet alcohol yeah. on the nose, but that is dry as a bone. That is yeah, it's very dry. Oak, peat, charred wood. There's, you know what? There's like all of the the peat bog mummies that have been hanging out for a long time in the peat bog. Vikings, they live there in the bogs. They're dead, but they're they're living down there. Hmm. And I think. There's zombies, zombie vikings. I didn't say zombie viking. They're peat bog mummies. Peat bog mummies coming at you. They're all crinkly. It's, they're, you know it's when like you're in a bath thriller, too but long. In a craft beer world when you're in, in a bath too long, your hands prune up. Yeah. They're, they're like, like that, but their faces are like that. And they're really peaty, and they're in a deep dark place. When you say really peaty, do you mean like they're called, called Pete and from Essex? Pete. Yeah. But they're from Stavanger. Right. Um, and if you're in a deep dark hole this Christmas. I would highly recommend. So we wish you the merriest of Merry Christmases. We hope you don't fall into a bog. Uh, and if you're stuck for ideas of what to get your loved one... We've got a bloody book out, haven't we? We've, got we've only got a book. book we've done a book. Yeah. Uh, we've done a book called Beer School of Crash Course in Craft Beer. Uh, even if you know lots about beer, there's still some nuggets, because we learn a lot while writing it. And we think it would make a fantastic gift. Uh, and it would mean that little Timmy, we've got sun, right? <laughs> Uh, can uh, He's got a mashed up Christmas. leg. <laughs> His leg's buggered. I need to get it fixed. We need Obamacare. <laughs> we live in England. <laughs> His leg's mashed up. I got the bug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 